Hey guys, it's Kip here from KDC Marketing and in today's video I want to talk about docking and how fixing your docking can fix some of your issues, especially on mobile devices. So here I am in my Wix Studio website and this is my mobile version of my website here and then I'm just at the hero section. So one of the things that can happen really frequently with this menu is when I open the menu let's say I want to add something to this menu like a shape here so if I add this shape in it's going to attach it in a second and then this shape is going to auto auto dock so you can see this blue line right here and that's the docking and it's at 168 pixels to the left of this container so most of the time the preset in Wix Studio is the element is set to auto dock. So if I drag this element around, you're gonna see that blue line change. So now it's going to the right side, for example, here. And then if I kind of bring it down or to the right or left, so it just wants to grab to the right or left. So this happens a lot when you have a shape or something here in your menu. I'm gonna make this a bit bigger so we can see the shape a bit better. Um, so sometimes you want to not have an auto dock and then you want to set the exact parameters that you want. So for example, let's say I want it up here at the top. Well, if you look at this where it's docked, it's actually docked to the bottom. at 683 pixels from the bottom and that's not what I want. I just want it to dock from the top and I want to set the pixels because I want to make sure it's a defined uh, amount of space between between the top. So I'm going to uncheck this box, element auto docks, and I'm going to set it here to the top. I'm just going to actually dock it to the top here, and you can see I get 26 pixels. So you have all these different options in here to set the distance away that it's docking, the margins, and I want to use pixels here and not the scale pixel because the scale pixel is going to scale on different devices. So if I were to say 40 pixels on a mobile phone, then maybe on a different device it might be 45 or 50 or 60 pixels. But if I want a set amount of space that doesn't change, I want to use pixels here. And let's say I do 24 pixels and I'm setting it from the top, it's docked to the top, I'm going to center it on the page here. It's still docked to the top using my manual docking at 24 pixels. Now when I you know, make this more responsive, it's always going to be 24 pixels from the top. So you can see that my element is scaling as I scroll, but the distance that it is from the top is not going to change. So I can change that as well. I can make this, instead of scale proportionally, I can make this fixed on the responsive behavior. And then as I, as I scale my, uh, my device, as I change the, the, the width of it, you can see it's not changing at all. It's staying the same amount from the top and it's the same exact size, my 48 by 48 pixels. So this can solve a lot of the issues that you have. Sometimes you'll see things like this when it's set to scale proportionally. And as you, let me get back open here, as you scroll this up, as you change this, the item gets bigger. And if you've set this to a percentage instead of pixels, like let's say we change this to a percentage, then the distance from the top is also going to change. So if I go back into my menu here, and then I drag these up, see how it's not quite 24 pixels anymore? And this X is a good marker over here, this close menu button, because it's staying the same width every time. So as I scroll, you can see the X stays the same width from the side and from the top as the, as the, um, as the, the device whereas my, my icon is getting bigger and it's moving further away from the top because it's based on percentage. So one way to fix this is just to change this to pixels and set your pixels and then to change this from scale proportionally to fixed and then they're always gonna stay the same. And that's the thing about pixels is it's a definitive uh, amount of, of space. Whereas the percentage, if you switch this to percentage here or scale pixels, it's going to change based on the device. But if you want it to be set and, and not change, then you want to use pixels here. So I hope that video helps. I know I've run into this a number of times on different Wix Studio websites I've been designing and I'm thinking, how do I fix this? 
And the way that you fix it is you just turn off the auto docking so it's not docking from the bottom anymore. You manually dock it to the top and then you set the pixel width that you want. And then this one is important to have the pixel width from the side 40 and 40 because you also want it to stay away from that side as the screen adjusts. Um, whereas this one, since it's in the center, I just want to dock it to the top. But that's how you get it to work and to be sized correctly on your phone. Um, and I think this is particularly important on the mobile menu. It can be really difficult to get these things right, even on these elements that are outside of the mobile menu, like your hamburger menu. See, this one's set to 8%, so as I scroll this, it's going to be a different, different amount. Um, and this one is sent to 8% as well. So I could change these and make these a more, more finite if I wanted to. I could change these to pixels and do 24. And then here, same thing on my docking, pixels and 24. And then no matter what the screen size is, those are always going to be 24 pixels from this one from the left side and this one from the right side. So that can really help a lot if you want it to be exactly right as, as you, you know, as your device changes and as it's responsive, then use pixels. Use pixels if you want it to be a definitive amount from uh, on the margin. And then also the docking too. The docking is important. You know, these are docked correctly because I want this docked to the left and this docked to the right. But if it wasn't, if this one was docked over here, and it was you know that blue line all the way across then I want to change this and dock it to the right and make sure it's docked in the right place alright well I hope that helps and I will see you in the next video